So this video is going to focus on how we can use Beaver Builder to edit our custom post types. So whether you're registering a new post type uh, using a plugin or yourself using a, a, a function, so PHP function, or you're uh, using a plugin like maybe an, an events plugin, which allows you to make events and it registers a new post type, but you want to build the content of that post type using Beaver Builder. This video is going to run through how you can activate Beaver Builder editing for custom post types. Now, if you did watch the video where I explained how to create a new landing page post type, you can skip this video because I'm just going to go through the same things. I'm going to show you how to create a new post type using a plugin, and then I'm going to show you how to allow Beaver Builder editing for that post type, and then also how to force a content area full width. So those three things are what this video is going to be focused on. Now, the first thing to point out is we need to install this plugin to allow us to register new post types. Now, you can also register post types. A website that I like to use is Generate uh, WordPress, so WP, generatewp.com, and you can scroll down and you can see that there's a post type generator. And then you just go through here and you fill out your options, so your post type, so the name of the post type, the label, all these sort of things. Uh, and then you click update code and it gives you this PHP code which you'd ideally copy into your own plugin to register the post type or into your, your theme, your active theme, which I probably wouldn't recommend in case you do change themes, you would lose the code. Uh, but this is the code that is used to register your new post type. Now, I don't like to do this way because if uh, WordPress comes out and adds a new setting that you could apply to a post type, you'd have to manually go in and first not only know that this new setting's out there, I mean, we all have busy lives, we don't all follow along with uh, the changes in WordPress, specifically the new settings on a post type, but a plugin author that specifically has a plugin around this would be following that, so they do the hard work for you. And that's why I recommend using a plugin for these things. Now, if we go to the plugins in our demo website, the plugin that I like to use is Custom Post Type UI. And it's by Web Dev Studios who, they have a great name in the WordPress community. They have, if we view details, the plugin looks like this and it's been, you know, 400,000 active installs, last updated a month ago. Uh, and it's four and a half stars. So it's, it's really legit and I've never had any issues with using it. So I do highly recommend you use this one. It is free. Once you do install and activate this plugin, just like any other plugin from the WordPress repository, if we go down to uh, our new menu item, CPTUI, we can click to add edit post types and it will take you to the default add new post type tab and we can begin creating our new post type. So let's say um, we did want to set up a new post type called team. So we're going to create a new post type for the team members in our company. So we could call it uh, company team. So that would be the post type. So that would be the post type slug. Uh, let's just make a company team without any spaces. The plural name would be uh, team members. And then the singular table would be team member. There we go. So let's click add post type. And our post type has been successfully added. Now what doing that using this plugin has done behind the scenes is it's literally generated all this code for us and put it into the plugin inside our database, which is exactly what we want to do. So let's go to edit post types and then select our team members post type that we just created. And again, on the left hand side, it's created our new post type and we could go ahead and add it and it would just be added like a normal post. But let's go down and let's look at a few other settings. So all these settings here, like show in menu, menu position. There are again, all these, if we look for show in menu, show UI, show in menu, it's just a, a graphical interface for all these settings that WordPress allows you to change for a post type. So there, them, and again, you can select your uh, taxonomies, but let's just leave it how it is for now. And let's go ahead and create a new team member. So let's go to team members. 
and let's click add new. And let's just call it maybe just Grant because it's easy for me to think of right now. And let's click publish. Awesome, so you can see the slug of our custom post type, company team, and then the name, so the slug for this post, which again, we can click edit and change. So it's generated a nice clean URL and we could click to view this and it would just be a default post. So obviously we wanna be able to edit this using Beaver Builder. And to do that, we need to allow Beaver Builder editing for our, our new post type. So to do that under settings and uh, page builder. So again, uh, this is just beyond Beaver page builder because of the uh, white labeling video earlier in the course, but this might say page builder if you haven't done the white labeling feature in Beaver Builder. And then you wanna come down to uh, post types and just allow uh, Beaver Builder editing for our team members post type. And again, this setting, select the post types you would like Beaver Builder to work with and let's click save post types. So now if we go to our team members and then edit this again, we get the Beaver Builder uh, setting here. And if we click that, we can now come in and we could choose one of the gorgeous templates that comes with Beaver Builder. And done and publish. And now our new team member post type, we can edit the content area using Beaver Builder. Now the last thing that I want to run through in this lesson, and it's going to differ uh, between themes, but you're more than likely with your custom post types going to want your content area, which Beaver Builder can design in to stretch full width like your normal pages. So by default, a custom post type, depending on your theme, I will stress, uh, but in most instances, depending on your theme, by default, your new custom post type will take on your blog's look, uh, which you know, most of the time we'll have a sidebar. Now let's go through and let's just make this full width. So to do that, we need to jump into our FTP client or cPanel. I'm gonna use cPanel. So we're inside cPanel in our WP content folder. And then let's go into our child theme for the Beaver Builder child theme. And we can see there, um, because there's no template that is directly affecting a single company team member post type. By default, this is gonna use our single.php. Again, this is just default WordPress, but we wanna actually overwrite it so that inside our child theme, which is our active theme, the content area stretches for width. And to do that, we can go up to our parent theme, so bb-theme, and we can scroll down and uh, what we can do is there's a template for width. So if we just view this, we can see that it outputs the header and then full width content and then our footer, which is exactly what we want. We don't want the sidebar. And again, by default, this single.php, if we open up this, it's doing our sidebar and then our content. And that's exactly what we're seeing here because we've set up a new post type, but by default, WordPress looks for the single.php file in our child theme, which there is not one. So it goes to our parent theme, which there is one. And inside that parent theme, it's outputting the sidebar for the single.php. So what we wanna do is we wanna copy this single.php to our child theme so it uses that one and not our parent theme one. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is the folder of our active Beaver Builder child theme. So we'll click copy file and let's go up one level and then BB hyphen theme hyphen child. So there it is now. So we only wanna edit the single layout of our new team member post type. So if we go back to our custom post types UI settings and then edit post types and then we select that team members post type, we wanna get this slug, so company team 
And the way WordPress works is you do single. So it's going to rename this file single hyphen and then the slug of that post type. And now any changes we make here only affect the single posts that are of that post type. So it doesn't affect our blog that way because obviously a blog is our standard post, post type and not our company. So let's go ahead and edit this code for this template. And uh, what we wanna do is we actually wanna copy the code from our full width template. So inside our parent theme, So there's the full width. Let's go ahead and edit this. So again, this is the template with no sidebar. Let's copy this code and then let's put it into our single hyphen company team.php file and save those changes. So now if we just recap and go back to our child theme, this affects only uh, the single posts for our custom post type company team. And if we edit that code now, we can see that it's using the layout for the full width content. So if we refresh this now, we can see that it is allowing our content area for our new company team post type to stretch full width. Now I will stress that this is a uh, default WordPress and that it, it can change depending on your theme, uh, but the logic will always stay the same because it is WordPress. It will look for a PHP file responsible for the layout of your new post type within your child theme and if it's or a plugin, and if it's not there, it will go to your parent theme. So that wraps up this video of how to enable editing uh, custom post types using Beaver Builder. And again, if you do install like a, an events calendar plugin, which will register that post type for you, and you do want to allow Beaver Builder editing for the content area of that post type, you just come back in there under settings and then the page builder. And then you would just go to post types and you would just select it and then save. And then when you edit that post type, you'd be able to edit it using Beaver Builder. So that wraps up this lesson. I'll see you in the next one.